What's up everybody, Ginger on Wheels here. Uh, today we have a really interesting video. We're gonna answer the question, does the 9Bot Max work in the rain? Is this scooter still working? And we're also gonna wrap up the conclusion of all the range testing I've been doing for the last week. I did a commuter range test in the middle mode. I did an economy range test to see how many miles I could actually get. And then I just finished up doing a uh, minimum range test also. So gonna get a comprehensive view of how much battery this thing has and also answer the question, does it work in the rain? Now, before we get too far into the video, I should start by saying that I'm six feet, two inches tall and weigh 190 pounds or 86 kg. So the numbers I arrive at should be used as a sort of minimum range for each of the three modes the scooter has. What is up everybody? Ginger on wheels here again. I'm out tonight on the Ninebot Max and it's fully charged up in eco mode and we're gonna do a maximum range test. Yes, in the middle of the night, curfew is just lifted. Should be a really fun ride, so buckle up, let's get ready to ride. biker on the trail at midnight. <laughs> He's riding like full biker gear. Okay, anyway, 12.4 miles, 62% battery remaining. Average speed, 9.4 miles per hour. Eight miles per hour, I guess that's sufficient. But I'm super bored. 23 miles total. 21% battery left. <sighs> Definitely the most boring range test I've ever done. This is what I do for science. I'm going two miles an hour right now. Okay, so while we wrap up here, I guess I'll go over some specs. The advertised range on the scooter is 40 miles, as I'm sure you know, but range we're about to experience is closer to 26 or 27 miles. It has 10 inch pneumatic tires, has a 36 volt, 15 amp hour battery, which gives you about 550 watt hours. The motor runs 350 watt nominal with peak up to 900. Advertised top speed is 18.6 miles per hour. It does have regenerative braking, three modes, strong, medium, and weak. It has a headlight with two LEDs in it. It's water resistant, not waterproof, but very water resistant. It has a 41 inch deck to handlebar height. The scooter weighs 40 pounds, three miles an hour, two miles an hour, and we are stopped. Hola muchachos and muchachas, it's Ginger on Wheels here again. And we're out today on the Ninebot Max scooter. You saw me unbox that last week. Okay, so the plan today is to do a total range test in the drive mode. 
The scooter has three modes. There's eco mode, drive mode, and sport mode. I turned my braking recovery onto strong, and I've got it in the drive mode. It's the middle speed mode. So I guess it would be the equivalent of like speed two on a regular scooter. All right, so we all know a Ginger on Wheels review wouldn't be complete without a little bit of off-roading. So found a, a little smooth gravel trail. It's pretty bumpy though without suspension. Got the tires inflated pretty high, so it's really bouncy. <laughs> Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Okay, so I made it up the hill, I made it off the trail. Um, it's become clear to me that for any real hills over like three or four percent grade, you have to switch it into sport mode to get up, at least for me. I'm a full grown adult male. So if you're a smaller rider, you might not have to do that. But for me, I definitely do. So this is the hill that the uh, M365 and the Mac Wheel MX-1 and the Mega Wheels S5 and the High Boy Max all kind of failed on. The uh, Mac Wheel MX-1 was able to get me up at like seven miles an hour. But all the other ones just kind of noped. What is this person doing? Oh, it's Allison. What's up? Okay, so you can do decent hills in sport mode with this thing. I'm 200 pounds or I'm 190 pounds. So this is like, on the higher end of adults. If you're 150 pounds, it's gonna be a lot quicker. Scooter dying, imminent, danger, danger. Scooter dying. Five miles an hour. And this thing will really push until it's got nothing left in it. What's going on everybody? Ginger on Wheels here again. I'm out on the 9Bot Max today. It's in sport mode and I'm doing the uh, minimum range test. I've done the maximum range test. I got about 28 miles. I've done the commuter range test where I put it in like drive mode and did a mixture of flats and hills and I got about 20 miles. And now I'm just gonna keep it in the sport mode and keep the throttle down as long and far as I can. So as promised, it has started raining, drizzling just a little bit, and I suspect it'll probably get a little worse. I have yet to ride on a single motor scooter that does well on hills. I would like to, but I don't think one exists. Top speed on gravel is still like 17 or 18 miles an hour. The motor on the scooter is located in the rear, and it's a little bit noisier than most entry-level scooters, but I think the scooter is definitely a step above entry-level, sort of mid-level. Yeah, tires are still pretty grippy off-road. So did you guys see the new Dualtron lineup of scooters? They got the new Dualtron X version 2. I think there was a new Dualtron Ultra, and then the Dualtron Storm which I think is definitely my pick of the new lineup. It's like this Stormtrooper-esque off-roading. It looks sort of like a hybrid. It's like a street, but also off-road. It's got some nice fenders built into it. It's got that classic Dualtron suspension. And I can't tell if there was like cable covering on the stem or if there's like another piece of suspension built into the stem, but I'm really curious. Like what's going on with this new scooter? So right now I have gone 7.98 miles 
and I have 44% battery left. One thing I do like about this scooter though, is you can pop the front wheel off the ground, whether you're just like scooting over something, some obstacle like a sewer, or if you want to pop up on the sidewalk or something like that. If you're not, if you don't let off the gas, you have continuous acceleration throughout because the motor is in the rear. With most entry level scooters, if you want to do something like that, you lose motor power when the front wheel's off the ground because the motor is in the front wheel. But with this one, you can kind of do like a little mini wheelie. Gives you continuous power throughout the entire time. Nice. that definite uh, thunder I saw some lightning too so let's go out on our lightning rod <laughs> hopefully don't get electrocuted oh by the way I've gone 11.5 miles and we have 30% battery remaining All right, we have 20% battery left, and we have gone 13.25 miles. Oh, it's dancing. All right, Mother Nature did end up winning. It is raining now. Uh, we've got 11% battery left, and 14.73 miles traveled. So this is the test. Does the 9Bot Max work in the rain? I don't want to see this comment. Can I ride it in the rain? Because I'm about to answer that. See what the, what the battery says. We have 3% battery left. And we've gone 15.96 miles. It is so bad to run scooter batteries down this low, but we're doing it for science. I'm just gonna call it, the scooter is dead. It's got no pickup left. That was downhill at seven miles an hour of full throttle. This is the conclusion of my range test. So I've done three of them. As promised, I put this thing through the paces. It's basically a thunderstorm right now. Let's see what the final stats are, shall we? As is custom, I'm pushing the scooter home now. At the end of my range test. If you'd like to thank me at all for pushing this 9Bot Max home for science, you can go ahead and thank me by subscribing to the channel or liking the video. I'd appreciate that. Thanks guys.